Now, this is hard for any parent to imagine driving with your seven month old and five year old not properly restrained. Man, this is unbelievable. Now, imagine the driver is going more than 100 miles per hour. It's the latest case of street racing on I 25. And Denver Savage Liz Gillardi is live to explain. Yeah, clock doing more than 120 miles per hour on I-25, and court records show the driver has a history when it comes to having a heavy foot. Northbound I-25, I'll be out with a red Mustang. Spotted drag racing. A deputy tried to catch up. Inside that Mustang, two young children, a seven-month-old and five-year-old. We deal with speeders all the time. But this is not the average case, topping speeds of more than 100 miles per hour. The kids inside not even buckled in properly. The baby was in a forward facing car seat, the five year old not even wearing a seat belt. It's a very scary situation. At those speeds, who knows what could have happened um, if there was an accident. Pulled over on this stretch of I 25 near the southern border of Weld County. Another car believed to be a Kia Soul got away. The driver of that red Mustang, Jared Andrews, faces numerous charges, including child abuse, reckless endangerment, and multiple moving violations. In this case, it was pretty clear cut that these two vehicles were, were actually racing. This weekend, beginning Friday night, Colorado State Patrol is cracking down on street racers. We just learned State Patrol will use overtime dollars to put extra cars on the highways where they've received complaints, like I-25. Troopers will be working on leads to find out where racers hang out and where they might be heading. And records show at least three previous speeding violations. We also know tonight the driver is out on bond. Reporting live in Weld County, Liz Gillardi, Denver 7.